to the boulevard. It is your boy TJ. Now, if there's one thing that I hate about the world in general, it would have to be school. Okay, so so imagine you going to a a a building full of people that possibly don't even wash themselves, clean themselves, but also have beautiful people that are germaphobic and also there's a whole bunch of wide variety of people at school and you have to go to this building at 7 o'clock in the morning and stay there for about 8 hours to go to 7 people that don't really like you they're just there to collect the check and you are visiting those 8 people in time periods and each time period is about an hour the best thing about school is literally the lunch and that's trash come on bruh how you expect me to wake up before everything wakes up and you expect me you seriously expect me to stay up in class because we all know our first period is the always the struggle to go through now luckily my luckily my freaking freshman year i had weight training so there's that there was really no choice but to wake up but i had weight training so basically how you started weight training once from you running three laps around the gym and then stretching and then doing speed and agility sometimes the ladders and sometimes the dots and then you would go to the weight room and do whatever in the weight room every day was different but you seriously expect me to survive the rest of the day when I just lifted weights. Nah, nah, okay, one, I just got up from sleep and immediately came to school. So I'm sleepy already. Two, I just had weight training, which makes me put even more tiredness in my day. And second period is not going to go well because I am tired. All right. But, you know, my second period teacher didn't really care. And it was it. And, you know, I just learned how to live with it. But, but school also has, has this transportation. You mean to tell me. You want me to go on an anonymous bus with a bus driver I don't even know? And you expect me to trust this bus driver to get me from point A to point B? There's there's no reviews on this bus driver. There's no, they, they don't have an Uber account. Where I can just, you know, see basically a Yelp review. There, you know, there's no c certificate from being a bus driver except for your driver's license. When basically everybody can basically get your driver's license these days. But, but, okay. The bus driver never be actually good looking. They always seem to, to pick the worst looking people. As bus drivers, and they were like, okay, <laughs> drive these kids from point A to point B. And the bus driver always hates the kids. They they always hate the kids on the bus. I'm sorry if my camera goes out. 
I'm sorry if I can't figure it out. But the bus driver always hates the kids. The bus driver always hates the kids. 10 out of 10, they don't even want to do their job. Well, maybe if you would have went to college and have an actually good career, maybe, just maybe, you would have to drive kids from point A to point B. Let's not even talk about that. Let's not even go into that. Let, let's go to actual school now. Now, let's go with my least favorite subject, history. What does history literally have to do with? Okay, why do I need to know about Julius Caesar getting stabbed and murked 23 times by one dude? And, and, what, what? And why, why do I need to know that? Why is that in the curriculum? Why, why is that in the curriculum? Why is it in the curriculum? Literally, people are struggling to pay their bills, get jobs, and file their taxes. People don't even know how to get any W-2s. But they, I guarantee you, they know that Christopher Columbus came here unannounced and claimed a country that was already claimed. I bet, I bet you, the, I bet you, it's really, it's literally ridiculous. And then they added, they added recent U.S. history. They had, that. they had U.S. history, they, they used to have U.S. history and world history. They're both ridiculous, but U.S. history is more understandable. World history is is the, not really kind of dumb. It is dumb. It's, it's stupid. Why would you need to work, learn about the world when you have Google? Anyway. I, I, I don't understand, bro. Recent U.S. history, the history that we're living in right now, y'all are seriously giving kids worksheets on something they can read about and what they're probably living in right now. Okay. Let's go to something. Let's go to something that could be useful. You know, first off, school they they set you in one path and one path only, and that's just to go to college. But like for the people, okay, I'm going to college for videography and band. Videography and band. You mean to tell me I have to take a science course for videography and band? A science course. And you at least have to have two APs. A science course. Okay, that's that's all right. Um, you know, you can go into agriculture. Some agriculture classes does count for a science course as their elective. So you know, but but people really are tell you, you really seriously have to learn about history to get a degree in band to get a degree in band. To play instruments in college, you seriously have to go and complete history. That's stupid. <laughs> Honestly, the whole concept of school is stupid because think about this. 
you, your whole entire first 12 years, well, not first 12 years, from like starting from when you were three, no, four, started from when you were four, the next 12 years of your life, you are going to, it's good, you're going to go into a building full of people to, to, um, to, to just go on your 12th year, go across the stage and get a piece of paper, basically saying you did it. A certification paper. That's what school is for. A certification paper. A paper. We are doing labor for a piece of paper. And that paper sadly has has the key to life. Life is dumb. I don't I don't understand. I seriously have to go I have to go through 12 years to get a paper basically saying I did it. And if I want a, a big career, I have to go to school again for additional four up to 12, not up to 12, up to eight, right? Up to eight, no. It is up to 12. Up to another 12 years. I seriously have to go through another 12 years if I seriously want a master's degree. And that's just up to 12. I can go up to four if I want a decent career. Basically for or another paper saying you did it. School is so freaking dumb. If you agree with me, like this video and share it. Subscribe and like. I'll see y'all. Deuces. School is so freaking dumb, bro.